Hey everybody, I'm Lance. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm making a fluid art fall themed wreath for your door. I'm going to be using these wood round plaques that are roughly 12 inches in diameter that I got from Michaels and I also got this kind of twig sunburst wreath from Michaels as well. But I'm going to paint it with some spray paint some gold spray paint as you see there because I want it to pop and I want it to have more contrast against my front door because my front door happens to be like a phthalo blue color. I'm going to be doing a fall color themed bloom on my wooden plaque here. So you see I'm just putting down my house paint pillow and getting ready to do the bloom. I'm showing you my paints and pigments and I used a wide variety from TLP to color art to black diamond and even Liquitex. So I've used a variety of different paints and pigments for this fall themed bloom and they're all really really lovely and love to see the sparkle and the shimmer that they have. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to, I have so many things in my garage of, you know, paints and fluid art stuff and the craft stuff. And I thought, well, I wanted a wreath for my front door, but I thought, well, I want to try also incorporate some fluid art since that's kind of what I love to do. And there's not anything like that in the store. So I figured, well, I'll make my own. And so that was the inspiration for doing this uh, fall themed wreath. I needed some for my front door. <laughs> My paints and pigments were mixed with Vivid Polypore and Joe Sonia Varnish. And so I did it just kind of really basic. And my cell activators are Titanium White and Carbon Black from Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. And so I just wanted to do a quick bloom. Now I am not the best bloomer, <laughs> but um, I'm getting back into doing that. And I'll be doing probably another bloom video soon where I'm doing a different recipe um, for the bloom but this was just something I wanted to do quick and just to show you kind of the versatility of doing fluid art for the center pieces of these types of wreaths so that maybe you would want to do one for yourself either a bloom or a swipe or some kind of you know fall themed or even winter themed fluid art landscape because I know those things are kind of popular at this time of year and um, you know just anything that you would like to put in the center there and stay tuned towards the end of this video because that's when we'll be putting this wreath together and you can really see how I do that and how I how I fasten it all together I'll be showing you how I do my bloom fairies or flower fairies in an upcoming video I know I had promised it a long time ago but I'll show you how I make these ornaments and then use them as ornaments at this time of year people order them from me but I'll be showing you that video and some other Christmas type craft videos using fluid art for holiday decoration or gift ideas I'm doing this little collaboration with the lovely Taslima of Taslima Maya art She's kind of like a kindred spirit. She likes to do a lot of things similar to what I like to do, like the Tanya Munn technique or using fluid art in different ways and uh, mixed media type things or, you know, those, those type of things. So we decided we would do a little collab and this isn't so, I guess, extremely mixed media the way I do sometimes, but this I thought was an interesting idea given that you know we're coming up into Halloween and fall and uh, the holiday season so I thought this was an, a fun project to do to show how we could all maybe utilize our fluid art skills in uh, making something festive for your door or just framing your you know your work when it's on you know a wood round because there's no real way to do that so this is actually an alternative to framing your pieces that are done on cir circular wood rounds now I'm loving the vibrancy of these fall colors. You see the beautiful vibrant reds and coppers and gold in there and then some of the colors are even shifting and almost making like a lavender 
or you see that around the edges. So I thought that was really beautiful. But I'm also going to pour, and uh, I'm well, I'm going to make another bloom. I'm, I'm gonna put my colors down and I'm gonna make another bloom. And the reason is I wanted something that was brighter and lighter in the center. So I think I'm going to put more of my ghost copper pearl down and the ore kind of at the end, you know. And, uh, and that way I'm hoping to get more cells that are you know, brighter, have that kind of pearly, you know, whitish, goldish center. So that was the objective, and so that's why you see me doing this again. Although I do really love how, when this is spun out, the look of all the edges of that bloom. And it really is. I love the contrast of the Prussian blue, too, because that's going to help when you see the color of my door at the end of this video. <laughs> um, it's going to all make sense because it goes with the colors of the front of my house and of my front door. And so it's going to take a minute to settle and I'm already seeing that I am getting more of what I was talking about. I'm getting more of that kind of pearlescent whitish goldish cell formation in the center of that. So now I'm just going to embellish this a little bit more and spin it out and kind of expand the pattern and I'll let you listen to some music. I've been staring at the sunsets, the sunsets of Boston. I was wrong, you were right. We couldn't stand tall under the fire. Somewhere I can see the silver lining, but it's so. So after spinning it out, I do really like what I'm getting in the center of this bloom. It's giving me the fall vibes and even the outsides of it are giving me kind of like this leaf feel around the edges. So I'm really, really liking that. And I'm really feeling like it's going to look good contrasted with the reed sunburst wreath that has now been spray painted gold. And I think it's going to complement that and give me that kind of fall wreath vibe. Um, utilizing the bloom here uh, that I was after. And I hope this is inspiring to you too, that you would, might want to try this as well. I know there's a lot of other bloomers out there that are better than I am. Um, but I think it, it makes a really interesting uh, wreath that you're not going to find in the store. And as you can see here, all the beautiful shimmer and sparkle of the TLP and the color art primary elements. And of course the black diamond, ghost copper pearl. I think it adds that really beautiful kind of, you know, almost just kind of pink blush color. And uh, just really, really, really beautiful and unusual, but it is definitely giving me that fall kind of feel that I was after. Now it's time to fasten our gold spray painted wreath to our wood plaque, our round wood plaque here, and this particular type of wreath that you can see there, I'm pointing at it with my thumb, has these little loops and I'm assuming they're there so that you can attach other floral, you know, wired flowers or whatever you want to in there but the great thing is because it has those I can position those around the outside of the edge of the wreath and it's got a small enough little loop that I can get I have these 8 by 3 8 little wood screws that I got from Lowe's and I spray painted those gold as well and I'm going to be drilling those into those little loops that are in this uh, wood, well, in this sunburst frame that, that I got from Michaels. So it worked out really well to do that. So as you can see there, there's the screw that I've painted gold. And 
I'm just going to position in the center of the wire loop and put my screw in there and screw it into the little wire loop and uh, it works out really really well um, and so we're going to continue doing this around the edges of the wreath and I think I put only I, don't, I think I only had to do this in four spots so it's not like you have to do a ton of this but I did it in four spots that were spaced out around the diameter of the wreath so that it was securely fastened and uh, you know, and then we have our uh, beautiful holiday wreath utilize, utilizing our fluid art skills. And definitely not like anything that I would be able to find in the store. And, you know, I think for all of us who do fluid art and really love it, it's, it's something, you know, really special to who you are and what you do. And, you know, it could also be something that you might want to do to sell. I mean, this might work really well at, you know, a craft fair or, you know, an art show. So now you can see that the colors do go well with the front of my house and my front door. And I feel like the, the wreath, the golden wreath part really pops and contrasts to the color of the door. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Taslima Maya Art coming up next. And please come back and visit me again soon.